¿Qué tal, bien? mi gente? Aquí Granto de acá en el Evo 2019. Les traigo a Ernesto López Jr. de Ernesto Comedy y Derry Low. Yo. So, what are you guys doing? Great. So, we got like a small interview with Ernesto and Derry Low to see what they can say. Tell us about like uh, advising people to being a accountant these days because these days the FUC, I feel like they need more content creators. Yes, definitely, definitely. I think a lot of people are always quick to bash, like you know how FTC social media can be very toxic, you know, we cover a lot of the to to like, toxicness, but people don't realize at the end of the day, there's a super lack of FGC content, look at all the content creators in the FGC, they're either not consistent, they're few and in between, or there's like, you can count them on your hand, right, as far as like, who, how many content creators that consistently do it. So I feel like we have to actually be better at respecting those that are creating content and helping others to create it as well. Because there's a lot of people that reach out to us for advice. And they want to know how to post, how to edit, and how to get like more subscriptions and all that stuff. So we're constantly reaching out to people to try to help them, you know, build the community. But definitely we need to learn to stop talking so much crap and actually build each other up. <laughs> Like that's real talk. Just coming from the, the guy who uh, focuses on all the, the all the drama, 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 drama. technically. I'm not the one talking crap. <laughs> I'm reporting the crap. But check it. But check has turned into something now that's more helpful than anything else. Before, when it started, I'm not gonna lie, before when Butt Check started, it was like, oh, it's a blow up, shots fired, like all like a bunch of drama. Now, we, we cover tournaments. We Not cover here. people that are trying to get sponsored. We cover a lot of stuff. Plus your comedy in disguise? Yes, yeah. We cover stand-up comedy sketches, yeah. and then Dirty Low, yeah. my beautiful cousin right here. Yeah. We do focus journeys on Sundays. So it's grown into something a whole lot more. Yeah. What would you give like an advice for people that uh, haven't started making content? Like some, some yeah. people just don't need to do, don't know what to do. Right, right. A, a big. <laughs> <laughs> what you know, mom? That was <laughs> so. The key to, to the key to to doing this is just to start because I guarantee when we started, I had Rick can tell you I didn't have a camera. I was filming in a garage. I didn't have a computer. I was borrowing everything from my mother-in-law. I, I had nothing. So I was literally making videos once a week. And I was just making random videos. And I posted them. I got like maybe 20 views, maybe 50 views. And then the more I did it, the more I learned. When you create content, it's something that you have to learn as you go along. You can't just go to college and take a course in content. You have to go and you have to network. You meet people. Like I was able to work with Mike Ross and Gutex and all these guys. They took me to the next level. So it's like, the more you do it, the more you grow because you're gonna meet people and you're gonna get ideas. It's like playing Street Fighter, you know what I'm saying? Like, just start playing Street Fighter. Start going to your locals, start playing online. The more you do these things, the more you're gonna start to grow and educate yourself. It's the same thing with content. Yeah, <laughs> you start, the more you put yourself out there, you're gonna grow. And a lot of people DM me too for advice. I'm here. If you need any questions or anything like that, I feel like we have to build each other up. No matter if you're Mortal Kombat, Tekken, Street Fighter, I don't care if you play Melee, Smash, whatever. Like, it's all the same in the end. We're all trying to build our seat. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dirty Love. Thank you, I appreciate it. Being Dirty Love. So, uh, would you guys like to send some shadows to the Panama scene? Yes. Shout out to Panama. I know absolutely nobody over there. <laughs> but I know Mama to how do you say it? <laughs> Todakai. Todakai. Big up to Mama Todakai. <laughs> this man with the green hair. We love him. <laughs> I met him last night. He's a real cool guy. Yeah, so big up. We actually met quite a few guys. He's a um, Doomsday. Yeah. Is he from there? Yep. Yeah, Doomsday was I met him last night. Very drunk man. <laughs> Doomsday was drunk. But he was very nice. He was very nice. So big up to Panama, man. We love you guys. We love you guys. We love you guys. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. Esto ha sido todo por esta entrevista. Nos vemos la próxima. Bueno, como pueden ver, esta fue mi entrevista con Ernesto López, donde da unos cuantos consejos. Aquí les dejo sus cuentas de Twitter y YouTube para que le den un vistazo y lo sigan. También estarán abajo en la descripción. A lo largo de la semana estaré publicando más videos como este de entrevistas en Evo. Así que suscríbanse si quieren ver más. Este fue todo acá y nos vemos en la próxima.